Well, good morning. It is now 2022. Happy New Year to you all. I hope everything is going well so far. I realize we're only a couple of days in, but you never know. So today we are going to Olaf's place because he has a garage that I can use. And we are doing the first mod to the 911. We are replacing the steering wheel. I picked up a new unit from DCTMS. Uh, I'll leave a link to them below. Uh, the major reason that I'm doing it is because I've got a Tiptronic transmission in this and the buttons are annoying. DCTMS does a paddle shift conversion. It's not going to shift as fast as a, a proper DCT or anything like that, but it's a little more intuitive, I find. So I'm looking forward to that. And also, <laughs> it has been so flipping cold here that literally part of the veneer on my steering wheel cracked and came off. I have it. I'm going to glue it back on. But yeah, uh, so the, the new steering wheel is strictly leather, so I don't have to worry about bits falling off of it. Uh, anyway, I would normally do a time-lapse getting out to Olaf's place, but it is so cold that um, my suction cup mount does not stick to the windshield. I tried using it a couple of weeks ago, just keeps falling off. So I will catch back up with you when we get to Olaf's place. Oh, and in case you're wondering, yeah, it's cold. And that's before the windshield uh, windshield factor. See you at Olaf. Okay, we made it to Olaf's. He's back in his truck out right now so I can get into the garage where it's nice and heated so we can actually do this. So talk to you in a second. Okay, we made it into the garage. All well and good. As you can see, I'm not wearing a jacket. I mean, it's still chilly in here, but it's not cold. Um, new steering wheel right here. Like I said, from DCTMS. I just love that it's got the paddle shift conversion. That's the biggest reason I'm doing this. I'm just not a fan of the buttons on for the Tiptronic. So I guess uh, first thing to do is get that battery disconnected and get going okay now since i have not actually disconnected this battery before let's see there is my negative on the other side which is what i want to do and i'm going to guess that it's going to be a 10 mil Now we're going to let that sit for a couple of minutes to let all the charge from the system drain out. Um, probably step on the brake pedal a couple of times too. And then we can start removing the airbag. It's been a few minutes, so we're going to try. If the airbag goes off, well, I'm not going to be sitting in front of it anyway, but it's not going to be fun. So, time to grab some tools and get after it. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. First thing I gotta do is get this little plug out here that's holding me, that covers the uh, the Torx head screw that holds the airbag in. So there's one. Just a little plastic cover that apparently falls easily. Oh, and um, yeah, th this is where that piece actually cracked and fell off because it's so flipping cold here. So another reason I'm replacing the wheel. But uh, yeah, I am gonna be able to fix that. That's no big deal. That way, when the time comes to sell the car, 
the original wheel can go with it along with the original uh, infotainment system, the original wheels, all that good stuff. So one down, next one to go. For those of you that haven't met him, that's Olaf. He uh, he's got a big, he's got a big habit of dropping stuff, but he's also got a, a big history in uh, motocross racing and stuff like that. So he's got all kinds of tools and mechanical knowledge, which is handy. Uh, and that and uh, he doesn't mind that I'm using him for his garage. So that's uh, that, that's a bonus. <laughs> Probably have to take the airbag right out and push them out. Leather's holding them in. Yeah, maybe. These it, I, it did loosen. I So for anybody wondering, that's what it looks like behind the airbag of a 996 steering wheel. Fun as I thought it was gonna be, but we're, we're getting there. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna mark, uh, mark the top here. Because there's not much worse than having a steering wheel off center genuinely the worst rumor has it this should pull off nicely without a puller so let's see what happens there we go after way more effort than it should have been we finally got this stupid thing off uh, as Olaf pointed out there's way too many different types of clips but now we just got to get this ring out of here and into the new one and then we can uh, start to, with the whole installation is the opposite of removal which I hope is not true because I don't want to go through to that much work to put this thing back in anyway talk to you in a second we came inside because it is still a little chilly in the garage and we had a little bit of monkeying around to do between the, with the horn ring between the new one and the old one, or between the old one and the new one. So we're, uh, we're just warming up a little bit. And uh, as much as I was expecting to do most of the work on this, Olaf has taken over. <laughs> yeah, kind of taken over. And I'm not, ter I'm not complaining too loudly. Um, th this is definitely more of a two person job anyway. So we're gonna get this horn ring in and uh, then we'll start getting the wheel back in the car. Okay, that's done. Now we can put it back in, get everything plugged in, and I can let Olaf get on with his life instead of wasting his time on my projects. Okay, so we've got it on. We haven't bolted it in yet or anything, but it's back on now. And we're checking that uh, my mark on the steering column shaft is accurate because I don't want to have to monkey around adjusting this for like one spline. That's going to suck. But I'm not really going to know till I drive because as much as I marked the old steering wheel, I can't really mark the new one. So we're going to keep going with uh, getting things put back on and see what happens. Let's see now. Horn works. Good sign. Put it in the manual. And... Oh, look at that. It's shifting with paddles. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. 
getting the steering wheel back on was way more work than it should have been. Olaf, would you agree? Yes. <laughs> but it's done. It works. Olaf, thank you so much for letting me use the garage and, and for all your help. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this just takes the car up a notch, which honestly kind of hard to do. I know it's older, but still, it's a 911 turbo. It's fast. It handles like a dream. Uh, not in Winnipeg winter, but what are you going to do? So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share. I will be posting this up on my, uh, on my Instagram, of course. Uh, I will put Olaf's Instagram up as well. He's got a gorgeous pair of Alfa Romeo uh, spiders, one 4C and one, what year is the other one? A 91? 92. 92 white spider. It's gorgeous. And anyway, happy new year. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next video.